Hello everybody, welcome back to Drawing the Weather. Today I want to show you how to draw a foggy landscape similar to the last one that we drew, um, except this will be more of like a mountainous scene. So I start by sharpening a woodless, a woodless graphite pencil over the paper um, and then blend that in with a napkin. So it's not going to be a entirely smooth blending because I want to have a little bit of variation in the uh, tone and the toning of the paper to create kind of like an overcast kind of cloudy day but have some variation with the clouds some darks and lights and whatnot so I go in with um, a 3B pencil and I'm putting in the most distant um, hill or mountain for this drawing and I'm just using vertical strokes to indicate the trees on the hill and this this hill is going to be fading into the fog and the clouds in the background so we're only going to see just that side of the hill And then I'm going in with a 5B, using the same technique to create a hill a little bit closer. Alright, so now I'm going in with my napkin and kind of blending, just blending the... Uh, the clouds and the fog and sort of fading the edges of the hill uh, where it's fading into the fog to kind of add that misty appearance so now I'm going in with the um, kneaded eraser and with a tapping motion just creating the uh, the fog. Notice I'm, that I'm just tapping. I'm not tapping or twist. I'm not tapping and twisting. I'm just tapping, because when you tap and twist, it creates more of like a cloud. And I'm not going for a cloud look. I'm going for a uh, a foggy look. And um, of course, it does sort of look like a cloud. Um, well, technically, fog is a cloud that's on the ground, but we want to make it look like fog and not a cloud in the sky. So I'm going in with um, the pencil cap eraser to try to make it more look like look <laughs> look more like a solid mist rather than a than a puffy cloud. So I'm trying to uh, make it look more like fog and less like a cloud. Basically, the kind of the same thing that we did in the last uh, foggy landscape drawing. And this drawing is perfect for today because uh, it's uh, definitely raining and gloomy and a little foggy. So now I'm going with a dusting brush and brushing away all the eraser filings. And now it's going back in with a napkin. And there's going to be a lot of blending in this drawing uh, with the napkin because I really want to try to create that that foggy misty feel and at this point I'm still trying to uh, make the fog look more like fog and less like a cloud in the sky and also sort of blending that up into the uh, into the hillsides there And then I also decide to um, add some more interest into the sky to sort of lighten it a little bit because it seemed a little bit dark. I just wanted to add some more texture and variation. So I go back and forth uh, with the kneaded eraser and the napkin. And also go in with, the, uh, with this uh, graphite pencil. Now 
All right, so now I'm going in with, uh, I think it's still the, maybe this, it's either the f 5B or 6B, but either way, I'm going in and creating some trees that's a little bit closer than the hill. And I'm indicating the them as individual trees, um, just using some simple strokes there, you know, drawing the trunk and then adding the foliage. It's uh, really simple, but fun. So now I'm going in with the uh, needed eraser, and which is definitely needed for this drawing. And I'm going to be using that and also the napkin, going back and forth between the two to kind of fade uh, the bottom of those trees into the fog. And touching up some of the trees. Or touching up the tops of the trees. And now I'm going to start adding some trees that are closer. And these are kind of sticking up out of the fog as well. Just some uh, spruce and fir trees. And just blending out the, the bottoms of the... Uh, the napkin, and I think the needed eraser as well. And now these trees are going to be the closest, and we're just going to be seeing the tops of them. So from here on out, it's pretty straightforward, just drawing the foreground trees and doing some final touches on the sky.
Alright, so there's a completed drawing of the foggy landscape. I hope you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, like this video. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I also have DeviantArt and my own website. I'll provide the uh, links in the description box below. Alright, so I'll see you next time.